going, but I'll meet you there. I can't blame you for leaving, but it's still not fair. And when I don't know what to say. I sing about you Now I don't know what to do Now that you're not here I don't know how to love Don't know how to I don't want to believe I'll believe in you I'll believe in you Think about you Usher sharing this after the performance Referencing both Prince and Kobe Bryant Today I pay tribute to two incredibly talented people That have inspired me to be a better person And have had a great impact on my life and career I will forever miss them And their legacy will live in all of our hearts going to join us with more on that side of Kobe's story. Good morning, Byron. Good morning, Robin. Kobe Bryant was a once-in-a-generation talent on the court, off the court, and around the world. There are countless athletes who could sell shoes or shoot hoops around the world, but Kobe Bryant was perhaps America's most authentic international sports superstar because Kobe Bryant could also speak the language, several in fact, Spanish, Italian, Chinese, multilingual, multi-championships, five rings at all, for a generational figure who emerged from high school and took his game to the game, he was in fact LeBron before LeBron, who even as a teenager played basketball like a grown man. He was 17 years old when he was drafted by the NBA. And even in his first year as a Laker, he was a star, showing this kind of self-confidence that you rarely saw in any young player. With his style on the court and his stature off of it, he changed what it meant to be a global sportsman. Kobe retired in 2016. Mamba In his retirement, Kobe began his second act and called on that same intensity in business and the media world. He won an Oscar as a producer. My little 11-year-old Gianna goes, well, Dad... You always tell us to go after our dreams, so man up. Bryant, more than a national treasure, but a respected athlete. Players from all sports paying homage. One of the basketball greats who came before him paying tribute overnight. Michael Jordan saying, quote, words can't describe the pain I'm feeling. I loved Kobe. 
He was like a little brother to me. Kobe was also an amazing dad who loved his family deeply and took great pride in his daughter's love for the game of basketball. His death felt by other big names as well. I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating. He was someone who inspired millions of fans. President Obama tweeting, Kobe was a legend on the court and just getting started in what would have been just as meaningful a second act. Tom Brady, we miss you already, Kobe. Child prodigy to a Times brooding superstar to a successful entrepreneur. At 41, Kobe Bryant lived a short life, and by most accounts, he lived it his way. For all that he accomplished as an athlete, people who know him best say Kobe Bryant was just hitting his sweet spot as a man, as a father. That only adds to the weight of his loss. What could have been? Guys, back to you. Sure does. Thank you, Byron. And Robin, I know you talked to Kobe so many times, including back in 2015, with that fun lightning round. Right. I talked with him. Um, it was... He was announcing his 20th and final year in the NBA, so I went to Philadelphia to speak with him. And it was enlightening to hear his one-word responses at the end of the interview. First word that comes to mind when I say these words. Okay. okay. Basketball. Love. Los Angeles. Home. Retirement. Peace. And legacy. I used to make a thousand shots a day. Just get up in the morning, make 500, then come back in the evening, make another 500. This is the grit and the grind that made Kobe Bryant one of the greatest players to ever step onto the court. My name is Kobe Bryant, 17 years old, with the hunger, the motivation, and the desire to be the best possible basketball player that I could be. There's many people who say no one works harder than you. Where does that come from? I just love playing. To the world, he was a basketball legend. But to his four daughters, Kobe was simply known as Dad. <laughs> when you're raising kids, you know, when we're raising our daughters, and one of the things that we teach them is you just got to try your best. You, know, you just got to give it your all, give it everything you have. And, um, you know, if you come up short, you, know, you just get up and you just try again. Kobe's children, a source of inspiration through all of the professional highs... Breaking lows, like the Lakers' 2008 championship loss to the Boston Celtics. I got home and uh, I hugged my kids, and uh, you know they just gave me, gave me a big hug, and you know I said, "Daddy, get them next time." His girls by his side as Kobe hung up his Lakers jerseys in 2017 at the place he called home, the Staples Center. Our daughters, hopefully, what you get from tonight, those times when you get up early and you work hard. When you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. If you guys can understand that, then I'm doing my job as a father. Through it all, Kobe's girls teaching him, pushing him to take a leap of faith and create his Oscar-winning animated short, Dear Basketball. My daughter gave me the best piece of advice. I was uh, a little uh, uh, worried about turning this into a film. And uh, my little 11-year-old Gianna goes, well, Dad... You always tell us to go after our dreams, so man up. What did you think right, when you cool. first saw Kobe the cartoon? I looked at the face and I was like, oh my God, it was just like Gigi. And it was 13-year-old Gigi who inherited her dad's love of the game. Do you think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA? She does for sure. She does? I, I don't, it means this, this kid, man. She's Wouldn't like, that be great? Dude, man, I, I'm telling you. The best, thing, the best thing that happens is when we go out and, and, and fans will come up to me and she'll be standing next to me and they'll be like, hey, you got to have a boy. You and V got to have a boy, man. You have somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy. She's like, oh, I got this. <laughs> the two captured courtside proud moments Kobe fondly remembered in an interview earlier this month. We just had so much fun because for the first time I was seeing the game through her eyes it was her like she was having such a good time now his legacy lives on 
thanks to his incredible contributions on and off the court. I love you guys. To my family, you know, thank you guys for all your sacrifice. There's no way that I can thank you enough for that. So, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Deep sense of loss for what it meant to all of us. Uh, one of the most shocking, tragic days that I've ever been a part of. A death bigger than basketball. From the PGA Tour to the NFL Pro Bowl, the country is mourning Kobe Bryant tonight. He was one of nine people who died in a helicopter crash this morning in Southern California. And tonight, a memorial is growing outside Staples Center, where fans have been gathering for hours. Kobe was our last hero as a Laker. And so for us, it's, it's a day of mourning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Somerville. And I'm Julie Hayner. Here's what we know so far. The helicopter went down around 9.45 this morning in the hills of Calabasas. That is a suburb of Los Angeles. The helicopter took off from John Wayne Airport about 9 this morning and crashed about 40 minutes later. Dense fog was reported in the area at the time, and officials say it likely played a role in that crash. The Los Angeles Police Department even grounded its helicopters because of the poor conditions and didn't fly until the afternoon. A man who witnessed the crash said he heard the helicopter's engine sputtering before it went down and burst into flames. Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter Gianna were on board the helicopter along with seven other people. We're assisting the families of those who believe they have been impacted and it's a, it's a, it's a tough process. And our hope goes out to all of the members that were on board, all the family of everyone who was on board this aircraft, and uh, God bless their souls. The Federal Aviation Administration and National Transportation Safety Board are investigating the crash. The coroner is now working on recovering the bodies. The next step will be to officially identify all of the victims who were on board. But several family members have already come forward saying they have lost loved ones in the crash. There are reports that Kobe Bryant and his daughter were on their way to a sporting event and that the others on board included another player and parent as well as a girls basketball coach, Christina Mauser, who reportedly worked at a private school in Orange County. The younger brother of a community college baseball coach says his brother, John Altabelli, was among those killed in the crash. A person close to Tony Altabelli says Tony confirmed his brother John and John's wife Carrie are among the victims, saying John's daughter Alyssa, who played on the club team with Kobe Bryant's daughter, was also killed. This picture shows the Orange Coast County, uh, the, excuse me, the Orange Coast College bas uh, baseball team mourning the loss of their coach. Altabelli was entering his 38th year as coach at the college. Again, the crash happened during foggy weather in the hills of Calabasas in Southern California. Reporter Jonathan Hunt is there tonight with more. That Aces Nation has lost its heartbeat. He was one of the greatest NBA players of all time, a superstar who transcended sports. On Sunday, Kobe Bryant was killed in a fiery helicopter crash in Southern California. The former Lakers star was just 41 years old. I mean, it's, it's obviously it's shocking and it's, uh, it's tragic. Local authorities say Bryant was traveling with his 13-year-old daughter, flying in a Sikorsky S-76 helicopter over a hillside in Calabasas, located about 30 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles. There were no survivors. The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department says it received reports of the damned aircraft just before 10 a.m. local time. However, it remains unclear whether the helicopter radioed a distress signal. Upon arrival, our firefighters discovered approximately a quarter acre brush fire that resulted from a crash on the, hill, on the hillside. Bryant's death comes one day after LeBron James passed him as number three on the NBA all-time scoring list. Bryant was born in Philadelphia. He entered the league straight out of high school in 1996 after he was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets, who then traded him to Los Angeles, where he spent his entire 20-year career. The entire Lower Marion School District community sends its deepest condolences to the entire Bryant family. The legendary player won five NBA championships in addition to two Olympic gold medals. He retired in April 2016. The Federal Aviation Administration and National Transportation Safety Board are investigating the cause of the crash. Our team will be looking at uh, the history of the pilots and 
whatever crew was on board. Brian, of course, as well as being an NBA legend, was also an Oscar winner. In Calabasas, California, Jonathan Hunt, Fox News. A memorial is growing outside Staples Center tonight. Many fans wearing Kobe Bryant jerseys and bringing flowers, signs, and other memorabilia to the arena where Bryant played for 20 seasons. Some in the crowd were crying, others hugging each other, while some are still in disbelief that Bryant is gone. Knowing they've died like that, him and his daughter didn't deserve that. They deserve to live a really long life. You're very emotional about this. I think we all are. His mentality inspired me, and that what got me through the military. His mentality, the mama mentality. Uh, and I'm paying my small tribute to him today. And I honestly, it, it hits really close. Kobe was everything, you know. Um, he was my childhood. Like, my mom used to tell me all these stories about from his beginning to his end. And it was just... It was, it was really important to our family. High above the traffic on Highway 101, a fan held up a Kobe Bryant jersey and a sign. Cars down below could be heard cheering for number eight and honking their horns in a show of support. That emotional LeBron James was seen today after he touched down at the airport in L.A. You can see him hugging a friend there. Then it looks like he wipes away some tears. Last night, James passed Bryant as the number three all-time scorer in the NBA. In fact, Kobe Bryant's last post on Twitter was about LeBron James passing that record. From one legend to another, Michael Jordan released a statement today. He said, quote, I am in shock over the tragic news of Kobe's and Gianna's passing. Words can't describe the pain I feel. I loved Kobe. He was like a little brother to me. We used to talk often, and I miss those conversations very much. Kobe was also an amazing dad who loved his family deeply and took great pride in his daughter's love for the game of basketball. Sports fans here in the Bay Area are also mourning the sudden death of Kobe Bryant. The grief extends from the college basketball world to longtime rivals in the NBA. KTVU's Asma Smith joins us now. She's at the home of the Warriors, the Chase Center in San Francisco, with the team's tribute. Asma. Julia, the Warriors tonight said they are shocked and saddened. They said Kobe Bryant was an iconic player in the history of the NBA that touched fans in every market, including the Bay Area, for 20 years. Our thoughts are with the Bryant family. At this time, we'd like to take a moment of silence in honor of Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gianna. Prior to Sunday's Cal game against rival Stanford at Haas Pavilion in Berkeley, the team had a moment of silence paying tribute to Kobe Bryant. The retired NBA star and his 13-year-old daughter, among nine people who died in a helicopter crash in Calabasas, Bryant was 41 years old. Kobe was one of my favorite players growing up, and um, it was really shocking. It's really hard to kind of absorb right now. It still doesn't really feel real. How many players he's impacted, you know? basketball growing up Kobe was my Jordan these Cal players called Bryant an inspiration and a leader coach Mark Fox said his team played Sunday's game with heavy hearts Kobe was a great competitor and he would expect you to compete and you should honor him with your effort and uh, I think they did just that fans who loved or rooted against him all say Bryant was one of the greatest NBA players of all time this 22 year old UC Berkeley senior from Pasadena recalled how Bryant led the Lakers to five championships if you're a kid growing up in L.A., like, Kobe was just your idol. 13-year-old fans say what made Kobe great, his personality, charisma, and drive. I remember he dropped 81 points on the Toronto Raptors, and that's, like, that's a lot of points for one player. But for Diana Evans-Harris with the East Bay Soldiers Youth Basketball Organization, Kobe Bryant exemplified more than basketball. I asked just for an autograph, and instead he did something totally something that I never would have imagined. Back in November 2018, the organization participated in a tournament in the L.A. area. Kobe Bryant was there coaching his daughter, Gianna. Bryant taped an inspirational message for a player. Hey, Betty, how you doing? I heard you were in a horrible accident, uh, but I understand that you're also a fighter. And you're going to come back stronger than ever. And uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you, man. I would tell you to be tough and be strong, but I know you got that already. No matter 
how big all of us look at this basketball icon, the fact that he was human, just like the rest of us, and saw that when another person needed some motivation, he did it. And Warrior star Stephen Curry posted a picture to Instagram saying, a lot of questions right now. Our faith is being tested, but all I can say is thank you, and may you and Gianna rest easy. The San Francisco Giants and also the 49ers posted their condolences on Twitter to Kobe Bryant's family. Julie? Asna, thank you. Rapper Snoop Dogg remembered Kobe Bryant tonight as a man who strived for greatness in everything he did, both on and off the court. One thing I learned from Kobe was that as time went on, he got greater. And that's one thing that I wanted to, to resemble my game similar to his as far as getting great with time, like fine wine and just find ways to reinvent myself and to become great. And that's what Kobe always did on the basketball court. Snoop Dogg went on to say that he admired Kobe Bryant for his leadership on the court and how he was always improving how he communicated with players. He said he also respected Bryant for mentoring and coaching his own kids as well as children he didn't know. Part of what makes this story so tragic is that act two of Kobe Bryant's life had just begun. From all accounts, he loved being a dad and a husband. This is his family as they were all together as his Lakers jersey was retired. In recent years, he's coached his daughter's basketball team. The two of them have spent countless hours together on the court, in the gym, and having fun watching basketball. Jason Applebaum joins us now. And just seeing those pictures, you can see how emotional it touches people. Uh, everyone feel touched. Everyone just feeling touched and emotional by this loss. Yeah, and, and as great as his basketball career was, as we showed you, he was just getting started in the next chapter of his life, and he was no doubt... Uh, going to be successful in that. I mean, he'd already won an Oscar three years after he retired from the NBA, but it was actually hard to process this information when, you know, I looked at the alert on my phone today. It was like I had to look at it three or four times before I kind of really sunk in that, that Kobe Bryant passed away, such as he was a larger-than-life figure in the sports world and really beyond, one of just two players in NBA history to play 20 seasons all with one team. He entered the league as a 17-year-old, fresh off winning a high school state championship in Philadelphia. And as you might expect, he had some growing pains his first few seasons, but his competitive fire was there for all to see right from the get-go. And it wasn't long before he was racking up NBA championships. The Warriors fans remember all too well. Five to be exact. Twice named finals MVP. 18 times an All-Star. A two-time Olympic gold medalist. And in 2006... He scored 81 points in a single game. That's second only to Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point night. Warriors fans, he saw his greatness up close and personal. And who could forget the night he tore his Achilles in 2013, only to hobble back onto the court and take his free throws, making both of them. In 2015, age and injuries were finally catching up with Kobe. So that year, he announced that he was going to retire at the end of the season. And when that final game came... Bryant showed off his basketball genius mm. in one final display, scoring 60 points mm. against the Utah Jazz in the final game of his Hall of Fame career. Uh, and again, um, it was just, it's just such a shocker. And when, when you add on the layers of the other people that lost their lives, including his 13-year-old daughter and um, one of her teammates and the others, it's just it's such a tragedy. Well, when you and I were talking in the newsroom earlier, you, you got emotional as we were talking about it because you've met him a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, when, you, when you actually come face-to-face -face with somebody and then you think about at age 41 uh, this person being gone, um, you know, my, my sister actually worked with him on a photo shoot down in L.A. And, uh, and the word she used, which is not the word I would ever have expected she would use, uh, was that he was so sweet. Because when you watch the images and when you, if you're a Warrior fan or any NBA fan, and you see how he's just, he just, you know, ripped your heart out on the basketball court, but for her to use that adjective, I was like, oh, really? And then he actually signed a basketball, and it's just, you're right, I mean, the basketball fans are still standing.